Get well, Mahanlo. Hello? Did you hear that? No, what happened to Mahanlo? Yeah, he's apparently at hospital. I don't know how critical it is. I don't know. I don't think it's critical, but was having some breathing issues. I don't know if he was dealing with a flu or COVID or something. But Monkey pox. Yeah. That's not happening in India, but thanks oh. for, for trying to okay. plan that. Anyway. Well, get better, Mahanlo. Tell me your monkey pox. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. Patient Zero, Mohan Love. <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, 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 yeah, that's what I say. They're getting diseases from monkeys. Now there's junkies with monkey disease. Who's touching these monkeys? Please leave these poor sick monkeys alone. They got problems enough as it is. If you know who that is, you win a prize. <laughs> I mean, it was Corbin. Of but... being in fantastic, yeah. having fantastic pop culture taste. Yep. Uh, anyways, today uh, we got a trailer, which we saw a tad bit of on Thursday. Well, yeah, a blink of. A blink of. And then we averted our eyes and We're our like, ears. I've not seen this before. I, I should turn away. be tainted by your invasion of my mind. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the... Yeah, played in Street 2. Yeah, the Street 2 uh, thing. We looked away, but it's the... Something. It's the he he something. The he he something. Ah, right here. Uh, Chava. Chav. Chava. Chava. Yeah. Chava, Chava te teaser. Uh, and it's, I believe, based off a historical, actual historical figure. Yes. Obviously played by the wonderful Vicky Koshal. And we discovered the reason we hadn't seen it is because sometimes trailers will have, and you may know this. A, an exclusive deal with the release of a film yeah. and they won't be made public anywhere in the world except for when that movie comes out it gets that first so I like that and I also uh, I guess it worked for this because it's not like a huge huge release so like if it was like let's say a, a KGF2 right. no question would that have been put on the internet within 30 minutes yeah. of it dropping in theaters Yeah, because it, it, that's such a big Right. Uh, trailer. Right. Something like this, even though people might be excited, they're not, it doesn't have the Ravage fan right. uh, waiting for it. Right. Um, so I guess it worked in this because I didn't see any that were put online. I mean, I didn't, I yeah. guess I didn't look. But no. Anyways, but the unfortunate thing is uh, it wasn't put online with subs right away. But the lovely, hey, knows. Hey, knows. Hey, knows. The OG. Uh, quickly subbed it for us. Thank and you, I hey, really knows. I appreciate that to the OG patron. Hey, knows. Been here since day one. Yeah, he is. Here we go. Wow. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj ko sheer ke I've never seen that before. Nice. Par sheer ke bache ko. Sign me up. Let me in. Yeah. Uh, I think I remember seeing online on like the Twitter space, the um, uh, him, like his pick, like his um, the first look image yeah. of him. And I, I know why it's an exclusive for the street trailer. It's the same production house. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Then that's why they did it. Of yeah. course. Um, uh, looked great. I Every love that weapon. He was swinging yeah. around. Looks like it's going to be bloody. Everything about it looked great. Yeah. S C H H A A. God, there's so many. C -H -A -A. Just look up Vicky Koshal. <laughs> It'd probably be easier. Uh, that's it. That's it right there. Yeah, that's it. No picture on IMDb. Uh, Vicky 
Rashmika. Rashmika. Uh, AK. Akshay Khan. Oh, it was Akshay Khan. Was that old guy Akshay Khan? Wow. Oh. I think it might have been. I think it might have been. I think that might have been Akshay Khan, but he put a lot of prosthetics on. <laughs> um, nice cast. Uh, we got uh, directed by Lakshman Udakar. Udakar. Mimi. Zeers and Doggy. Hindi Medium. of those? Or let me check here. Could be the writer. Says cinematographer on some of them. So director, he directed Mimi. Directed Mimi. Oh, good. I mean, this is very different than Mimi. Yeah. <laughs> um, all of his other ones look like similar Mimi types. Oh, uh, he did direct that one. Uh, we didn't see. I heard some uh, mixed stuff, but some good stuff as well. Of, with Vicky. With Vicky. Yeah, it was like yeah. his rom com. Yeah. Last year. Yeah. Um, I, I remember hearing some mixed things, but we loved Mimi. Good lord. Yeah. Is Wonderful movie. Film? Yeah. This is very different. Different vibe. Whole other all world. Of them. Whole other world. But it looks great. As a first look right there, it, it looks yes, really, really good. Right a historical drama based on the life of Chhatrapati Sambhaji Maharaj, the son of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. Okay. He looked like, uh, I mean, his, <clears> his look just looked like he was kind of like Yash. They have a Who's this guy stuff. doing the score? A.R. Rahman? A.R. Raman. Raman. A.R. Raman. A.R. Raman. I think that's his uh, proper Well, name. it's nice they're giving a, no one a, yeah. a, a shot at a Vicky Kosho yeah, film. Yeah, this might be his first like uh, com composition. Yeah. Um, Good well, for him. Yeah. Well, um, well it, we'll see how it is, though. Sometimes it's difficult to, you know, for your first <laughs> venture to make it good. Don't explain it to anybody in the comments. Uh, <laughs> I, all, anyone who's never seen us before is like... Who are these idiots? <laughs> I think that's most videos. Most actually. videos. Most every day. Yeah. Every video we ever do. Who are these, who are these idiots? idiots? <laughs> the name of the channel. OSR. Who are, who these, are these idiots? idiots? <laughs> <laughs> if anybody wants to make us a I new, like it. If anybody wants to make us a new intro, make that the slogan under yeah. OSR. <laughs> it should just be OSR. <laughs> who are Look these easy. idiots? <laughs> <laughs> I would love it. I like I it a lot. With uh, that, um, one. Uh, Come on, Vicky Koshal. Vicky Koshal. Um, yeah, and I don't um, need any more, especially if it's because he looked like he was like one. His just look, it look he looked like Yash. They have a similar he, hair and beard, very style. much like Yash. But he also the character looked very like Ranveer Padmavat. Yeah. Um, in terms of how epic he could be. Yeah. Um, I think that it's going to be very cool. And I think we're going to have some. Very clearly, some just awesome action sequences that are have blood baths in them. It'll be. It looks. It looks wonderful. Um, the direct. The writer is Rush, Rishi Vermani. Rishi Vermani. Yeah. Um, December sixth. This is quite early. To uh, I mean, obviously you want to get hype. It looks good, but this is kind of early for. Uh, it is for a film that it um, is. Well, I think the only reason they did that is they knew how many eyeballs they'd get for Street Two. Yeah, putting it in as a yeah. as a as a, tra a teaser for Street Two. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, looks really cool though. I like it. Um, you know, when it came up on the screen in Street Two, I was like, "That's Vicky." I've yeah. not heard about this. Yeah. <laughs> It took us by surprise. I, I, there's not there's not too many big trailers and, that come out that I don't get notified from a lot right. of people by. Yeah. And, and, and for for clarity purposes, whenever we're in a movie, if a trailer does come up that we haven't seen, we, look we immediately look away. Yeah. So that that's why if we see it for the first hear, time with if you. I hear something's dropping with like that week and I'm like, okay, it's probably dropping with that. I try to get to it before we ever get right. to the theater because I don't know if it's gonna And be most out. of the time most of the time we do. It's very rare that we miss it. Yeah. Yeah. But they this was uh, yep. exclusive for them. So that's up to you. I hope it's good, man. It looks good. Yep. Everything about it. The cinematography, the uh, the acting, yep. the, the action. It all looks really, really cool. We haven't had a big historic. Historic one. epic. Well, well, I I think. At least from the Hindi industry. Right. Right. South has been doing it a lot. Yeah, they've been doing it a lot. That's what I was going to say. But that's Hindi. Lot, obviously. The last historical epic wasn't in cinemas. It was on TV. It was Haramandi. It was Sanjay Leela Bansali series. That yeah, was that a historical. Big action, but that, yeah, that, that wasn't was big action. action. That was big, that big no, action. No, not at all. Um, uh, so, yeah, this is the first that I can recall in a while that's been a straight up. Best uh, Hindi film of the year? Best Hindi film of the year that came out this year. Is it, is it, uh, 12 Feld doesn't count. That, that's last it? year. Lapata Ladies is this year, right? Yeah. So, yeah. It, it'd probably be that or Kill. Wow. Two completely different films. Also, Berlin just got uh, released on uh, Z5. Finally. Finally. Yeah, so. Wow. Well, uh, uh, that'll count for this year. Uh, we counted it last we year. Did, we did. We counted it last year, but no one else got to see it but us and people who were at IFA. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, that, that watch was, Berlin. If you haven't seen Berlin, it's wonderful. It's a fantastic piece. So it of those, Kill or La Pachelli? Yeah, Kill. Kill is the most. Kill is the most entertaining. That's the one you go into for you know. If it's going to get nominations for stuff, what it's going to get nominations make my for top is the, 10, is the ac action for sure. But if I'm choosing the one that's like, you know, the elevative artistry in terms of the totality of the film and it's going to uh, be, be if I had to choose between those two for best picture in the dummies, I'd be choosing the pot of ladies, yeah, even yeah. though I love kill. Yeah, I, love kill. I mean, at least currently they're both definitely making the top 10. A hundred percent. Top uh, five. Yeah. Well, now yeah. I don't know about that because I don't know the the full list. And there's actually been a lot of really good films this year. It's been a very good year. I'll tell year. you what. If anybody asks and anybody's wondering, there is no question that India is producing the best cinema in the world right now. Yeah. As far as consistency with which you get to see something that is enjoyable. Uh, there's occasionally there's these big juggernauts that Hollywood's been popping off. Granted. The wheelhouse of all of that doesn't happen till September, October, November, December for the the big ones. But so far, so far right now, I mean, when I compare how many movies I want to go see and have seen that are Indian versus the stuff that Hollywood's been, I can count on one hand the number of Hollywood films I've watched and enjoyed this year. It'll be really interesting to see when um, all the 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 can movie comes out. Yeah, because we're coming up on the the deadline. Yep. We are, and there's already a couple, there's a bunch of, uh, uh, not a bunch, but there's a handful of countries who've already submitted their Oscar films. Can So can they submit that if it's just been in the festival circuit? Or does it yeah. Have, or does it have to have been? For a foreign film? For a foreign film. A foreign film does not have the same rules as a, as a domestic film here for needing to have a, 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 a theatrical release in the States. So they could still pick it. Correct. That would still be my guess, even though I haven't seen it, just yeah. based off of... If your film almost which like can, why I, wouldn't it get submitted to the Oscars? Right. And I learned something because I looked up some stuff about Lamley. I've looked up what they charge to rent out a theater if you wanted to do a screening at a theater. But I also found out that one of the reasons they probably don't include films that we wish they did include is they're very focused on giving screens to films that have shots at the Oscars. And they actively uh, campaign for those films as part of what they do. Lamelet is huge on helping independent foreign films make it to the Oscars. Mm -hmm. So they reserve their screens for the films that they think have a shot at the Oscars. Hence why they did a very special late, late screening last year of RRR. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's, ago, the, two years ago, that's right? the reason they choose the films they choose. It's not just that they support ind independent Indian, I mean, uh, international films. They highlight films that are festival winners and possible Oscar yeah. submissions. Anyways, that was awesome. Let us know what you thought about it. What should be our next Vicky film that we should yeah. watch? Please let us know down below. Just